Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a video all about what to do with a skein of yarn or a hank of yarn. I remember when I first got a skein of yarn and I was like, oh, what do I do with this? And I just started using it as it was and I got into a complete mess because you do have to prepare it before you use it. The reason I'm doing this video is because I was actually inspired by a couple of subscription boxes that I've got recently. So I'm gonna talk about those first and then move on to what to do with your skein. So the subscription boxes that I got recently were actually from a company called Knit Crate. They have four different subscription boxes, but the one that I have is the knit crate box and in this box you get two uh, skeins of yarn and you also get a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern so it's really good if you want to kind of mix things up a bit they also have a theme every month as well I actually have two so I'm going to show you both of them so you can see the difference in in the months but they have a theme each month and they also have different colors that which they send out each month as well the yarn is really really good quality so I think for what you're paying for the actual box itself, you're getting a really good quality yarn. So first of all, I'm going to show you the March box, what I got. And this um, theme is Sugar Sugar. And these colours are just totally my colours. <laughs> so I definitely love this one. Um, and the yarn is actually really, really nice as well. So if you don't know what a skein of yarn or a hank of yarn is, this is what I'm talking about. This is beautiful. It's got flecks of silver through it and then also speckled as well in colour. So as I say, you get a crochet pattern and a knit pattern with this as well. This is a sock yarn in the colour Blue Barry, which is quite a interesting name so yes i really really like this i am wanting to get into sock making so this is definitely a winner for me i just need to find my knitting needles and i don't know where they are <laughs> but anyway i'm going to try and find those out so i can make some socks but this is the march subscription box and it has all the details on the back as well so these skeins of yarn are actually worth 24 dollars each and then the patterns are worth $5 each. So you've got a total of, I think, $63 worth, and you get it for $24.99. Dollars. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what the UK equivalent to that would be. I would have to Google it, but I still think that's really good value for money. And I think if you kind of like to have the suspense of not knowing what you're getting each month and trying new things as well, this is definitely a good, uh, good thing to try. I've spoken about subscription boxes before and I absolutely love them. So this is the uh, April box and this is called Golden Apple. Hour. These colours are just beautiful. I love the other ones because they're just my kind of colours but equally so. These are just so so nice. Um, again each skein of yarn is worth $24 and you get a knitting pattern and a crochet pattern. I like the fact that you get both because if you want to try one one month and one another I just think that's really really nice. And then you also get um, a pattern so in this one, you get like a cow, um, tempest cow it's called, and then this one, you get like a shrug, I would describe it as. So yes, really, really nice. What I shall do is I'll leave a link in the description box below for you so you can go and check out Knit Crate. Like I say, they do four different subscription boxes. They actually do one in particular, which is just for socks. So if that's the kind of thing that you like, then head over and check that out. I think I might be ordering one of these sock ones. But yes, let's go ahead and I shall show you what to do with one of these. So you're going to begin by removing any labels and what you will find when you're looking at your skein of yarn is there will be a folded over end and then a piece of yarn which is wrapped over one side. So you want to untuck that side and then carefully unravel your yarn. I would suggest doing this on a table so that you can see what you're doing and then you're going to open it out until it forms a circle. Once 
what you will find is that you will have some ties on your skein of yarn, you will have one on each side and you also might have two additional ones as well, each skein might be different. But one of these skeins is going to have four pieces of yarn attached to it and the other one will just have two pieces. You want to start off by cutting the one with two pieces first or any additional ones and then move across to the one with four pieces of yarn. The reason this has four pieces of yarn is because the ends are also attached to this. So just cut underneath where the knot is and then pull out the loose piece of yarn. So once you've found your end, you want to go ahead and attach your yarn winder to either a tabletop or something. You also want to take your skein of yarn which you've opened out and you can lay that across a chair. You can use a Swift machine, I don't have one of these so this is actually the more difficult way. So if you can master it this way then the Swift will be even easier. I'm going to go ahead and load up my yarn winder and I'm going to start unwinding the skein of yarn. So basically what you'll find is that the beginning and the end of your skein of yarn is going to be harder to do. You want to just take this nice and slowly because it can get a little bit um, knotted up. So what I do is I just go really slowly and if I find that I need to alter the position of how the yarn is laying on my chair I will go ahead and do that. If you find that it starts getting a bit knotted up, just stop before it gets too bad and then just sort out the knot and continue to wind your yarn. Now this is going to take a bit of time but trust me it's well worth it in the long run. As you are going through your skein of yarn you might have to alter the position of where you're holding your yarn, maybe up high or down low. Just take this step by step because every skein will be different. And once you come to the very end of your skein you are going to tuck in the end and then pop off your yarn cake. I really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you've always wondered what to do with a yarn skein, I hope you do now. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye!